All right, so a lot of you have been complaining that you're not able to hear my voice on my, my videos. So I decided to go old school and break out the, the Gene Rayburn long skinny microphone for this box break. And since it's Columbus Day and I have nothing better to do, I'm going to bust this box of uh, Topps Pro Debut Series 2 because apparently Topps had nothing better to do with his license. I mean, you think you you got an exclusive license with minor league baseball, you'd make more than two products? I don't know. I only collect these things. What What the hell do I know? So... Anyway, you're supposed to get two autograph cards and a numbered game worn All Star Futures jersey card per box. I'm going to put the microphone down and hopefully uh, this picks it up. You never know. It's 24 packs, 8 cards in a pack. still have a shitload of Series 1 cards. So if any of you actually are, are collecting this, hit me up. Alright. Pack number one. David Nick, D. Gordon, David Holmberg, Jack Kozart, a Colin Calgill Future Foundation plays for the Mobile Bay Bears. One of those stupid minor league team names. What's a Bay Bear? You don't see many bears in the Bay, especially in Mobile, because I lived down there for a while. Uh, Anthony Hewitt, Matt Clark. Get a blue card of Daryl Jones, and this is numbered to 369. And here's a card of uh, former Phillies prospect Kyle Drabeck, who we got for Roy Halladay. Uh, Fields, black. A Baseball America insert of Ty Tanner Shepherds. Shepherds, Shepherds. Whatever. I don't know who half these people are, and you don't either. I got my first big mojo hit. Jesus Montero of the Scranton Wilkesbury Yankees, who I think has been up with the big club. Name sounds familiar. Here's another guy, Michael Taylor, another piece of the Roy Halladay trade. I think Toronto then traded him to Oakland. For someone, uh, there's a guy with an interesting name, Ryan Spangier Furstenberg. He's from South Africa, and he plays for the Danville Braves. I got a gold card of Jake Thompson, number to fifty, and nothing much else. Roger Kieschnick, is he related to Brooks? I don't know. Michael Moustakis, a former number one pick. The tools of the trade car of Eric Hosmer. And nobody else I can notice. Uh, there's Travis Darno, another piece of the Roy Halliday trade. 
insert of Yonder Alonzo. And that is all. Bryce Brents, Kyle Gibson, Jordan Akins, Kendall Balls. A blue card of Jacob Turner, number to 369. Blue card of Desmond Jennings. And Pops got this license for minor league baseball. I thought they'd do a little more than this. And just two token sets. Shelby Miller insert. It's a card of Freddie Freeman. Who uh, made his major league debut? Going to be your starting uh, first baseman for the Braves for the next decade, I think. A Kyle Drabeck insert. Sanchez. Chris Carter. No big deal. I think they would have done a little bit more with it and just it's almost as if they got the license and then just sat on it and did nothing with it. Uh, a blue card of the South African dude with the long name number to 369. And if I recall correctly, I think the blue cards in the first series were numbered to 299. Just saying. Uh, Jesus Montero, insert. Greenville Astros. Okay. I wonder if there's a Strasbourg in this. Probably not. If there was, we'd probably know about it by now. A blue card of Robert Rowland of the Missoula Osprey. Third round pick of the Diamondbacks this year. Number to 369. Uh, Martin Perez insert. Not really all that impressed with this. And again, I really don't follow minor league baseball that much. Insert. Oh, I got a uh, Araldus Chapman, who uh, after uh, his performance in Game Two, not exactly looking all that impressive anymore. Stovall. Okay, I got my big mojo hit. A Futures game worn jersey of Shelby Miller of the Quad City River Bandits. This is number to a buck ninety nine. This is a big ass piece of fabric on here. When's the last time you've seen a game jersey card with that much fabric on it? Guess that's like the only cool thing about this set 
if the jersey cards are so big. Blue card of Rhett Varner, a sixth round pick of the Marlins. Plays for the Jamestown Jammers. Freddie Freeman, Baseball America. Mercifully, I only have a few more packs of this to go. Mark Krause, Tommy Joseph, Josh Vitters, insert. card of Ryan Jackson, fifth round pick of the Cardinals in 09. Here's that Lars Anderson guy. His cards are pretty hot for like two minutes a couple of years ago. Simon Castro insert. And finally, the last pack of this box. Billy Bullock, James Baldwin. I got a David Cook sticker autograph of the Corpus Christi Hooks. And this is actually serial numbered to 199 on the back which is something that the other autograph was not. I guess because this one has blue foil, it's numbered like it matters. Here's Philippe Omont. Guy the Phillies got for Derek, for uh, Cliff Lee. Almost forgot his name there for a moment. And that's it. All in all, a very uninspired effort, I think. It's almost as if it's almost as if they just they got the exclusive license with MLB, then they got the exclusive license with USA Baseball, then they just decided what the hell, let's just get the minor league baseball. And they really this is just a really uninspired product. I mean, it's the same boring design from Topps Baseball. You've never heard of half of these guys and probably never will again. I, I, I don't see the point of why Topps is in the minor league card business. Anyway, uh, thanks to Topps for sending me this. I'm out.